This is a Fatima TV special presentation. What you are about to see in the next few minutes will astonish you. The words spoken in this presentation come from a man who was in a position of great responsibility in the Archdiocese of Rome. This is a message of concern and obedience, something Father Gabriel Amorth is very familiar with as a priest who started as an apprentice exorcist in 1986 and went on to become world famous, performing thousands of exorcisms. Listen carefully to the words of Father Amorth, who speaks of a miracle, one that is unique in history. The apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima are absolutely unique in the history of the Church. They certainly have exceptional religious value because saving souls and bringing them back to God is Our Lady's main concern. But the apparitions also have a big impact and influence over the course of mankind's history. It is true that God is the one who guides history but God created man and made him free. Therefore, man is able to influence and change his own history. So the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima have this twofold significance, religious importance, as well as major historical implications, especially in the case of our world's state of peace. The apparitions took place in 1917 almost at the end of World War I. Our Lady, first of all, showed hell to the young children of Fatima. Hell, which might be the end of our life, it's either heaven, purgatory, or hell, nothing else. So we must focus continuously on our final goal. We must focus on God. Otherwise, we won't even be able to understand our own life on earth and its meaning. Also, Our Lady talks to us. She talked to us not to announce new wars, but in order to avoid them. If we'll listen to her words, pray the rosary, practice the devotion to the first five Saturdays and to her Immaculate Heart, then there will not be another war. Otherwise, if they will not hear her words, under the pontificate of Pius XI, a new and much worse war would begin. Our Lady has requested the consecration of Russia. We don't have time now to analyze this subject, but I do hold it very dear. Sister Lucy always said that Our Lady requested the consecration of Russia and only the consecration of Russia. She also asked the consecration of the world to another great and young Portuguese saint, Alexandrina Maria da Costa. But these two things are very different and are very separate. Now. Our Lady requested a consecration of Russia in a solemn and public ceremony to be performed by the Pope together with all of the bishops of the world. This was specified in detail by our Lord Jesus, who continued to appear to Lucy as well as Our Lady did. He wanted this consecration to be recognized as the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, so that she would be honored together with His Sacred Heart. These are the words of our Lord, but the time has passed and the consecration not done, and our Lord is deeply offended. You see, with our free will, we can affect international events. Sure, everything depends on God, but God created us free, and we can influence human events. This is a fact. Take, for instance, what happened to the King of France, who did not comply to the order he received from heaven, 
and he ended up with his head cut off. Our Lord appeared to Sister Lucy and told her, they will do the consecration, but it will be late. I feel shivers running down my spine when I remember those words, it will be late, because it's our fault if World War II happened in the first place. What's worse is that Our Lady ordered the secret to be opened in 1960. And it was in that year Russia hadn't finished spreading her errors all over the world yet. They didn't do it. Unfortunately, they didn't open the secret up, and Russia spread her errors all over the world. The conversion of Russia would have been a triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which would have been recognized by the entire world. That's why our Lord wanted a solemn and public consecration to be done by the Pope together with all the bishops of the world. This way, his entire church and all of Christianity represented by the bishops would have been consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. That event will change the course of history. Yes, in 1984, the Pope quite timidly attempted to consecrate Russia in St. Peter's Square. I was there, just a few feet away from him, because I was the organizer of the event in St. Peter's Square. It was March 25th, 1984, and the Pope had the statue of Our Lady of Fatima coming over from Fatima. It's the statue that usually stays in the huge plaza of the sanctuary in Fatima. But for that occasion, he wanted the statue there. Kneeling in front of that statue, he attempted the consecration but all around him were politicians who told him, you can't name Russia. You can't. And he asked again, can I name it? And they said, no, no, no. But Our Lady didn't appear to bring problems. She came to us to avoid problems, the prophecies of Fatima. Let me tell you what I think about them by using the same words pronounced by Pope Benedict the 16th, the last time he went to Fatima. Whoever thinks that the prophetic mission of Fatima is concluded deceives himself. Look at the importance of these apparitions. Look at the damage and collapse we've experienced in the Church, both in its faith and morals. I would like to quote Pope Paul VI in this regard. It was thought that after the Second Vatican Council, we would have a renaissance of the Church. But instead, it was a disaster. Within the Church, the smoke of Satan had entered in the Vatican. They believed in a renaissance of the Church, but it was a disaster. Among the clergy, among the liturgy, and among the faithful as well, who have lost their faith, and have abandoned their religion by the millions. This has been followed by a secular thinking and culture which Our Lady wanted to fight by using Our Lord's words and faith. Rationalism, age of enlightenment, atheistic communism, they are trying to build a society without God. For them, science and reason justify everything and we no longer need God. See the results. The family is attacked by divorce. When Jesus said, what God has united, let not a man separate. And what about abortion? With millions of unborn babies killed every year, when our Lord said, do not kill in his fifth commandment. Look at the disaster we are facing today. So the apparitions of Fatima continue but their end is glorious. And in the end, Russia will be converted. My Immaculate Heart will triumph. It has not triumphed yet. It will, though. And the world, it will receive a period of peace. So here is the great ending of the apparitions of Fatima. Before this finale, it is probable 
that mankind will suffer, suffer some kind of chastisement by God due to their sin and their cold hearts. But we're not facing the end of the world, not as some crazy men are saying. We're going towards the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And also, we're going towards a period of peace. Because we will have peace only if we'll have faith in God and to make sure that we obey His words as He's requested. Thank you.